enter my name. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's my name. In case you ever wondered. I don't know why. Hey! <laughs> Seriously, I can't. I can't. Okay, I can't use the controller. Can't. Yeah. Absolutely can't. Okay. I unplugged it. Again. I know. Hey! Oh, I already said that. <laughs> I see an annoying girl running towards me. Uh, from a distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. Sorry. <laughs> Man, I'm just, I can't, uh, you know, my reading skills. But it's just, it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. If she's going to chase me, chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. I overslept again! But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Yeah. You say that, like, you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Stacy. <laughs> it's weird hearing my name. It's weird saying my name. You know, like myself, like in the third person. That's weird. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, <laughs> I don't know. Why did I make that face? Seriously, why did I make that face? <sighs> but I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Stacy, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm not. Re I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's talking about. <laughs> Sayori likes to try a little too much. Worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content. Just getting by on average while, she, while spending free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried about... Worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess I'm seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. 
clubs. I thought that said Cletus. <laughs> I don't know why. I watched The Nutty Professor 2 last, like, a couple nights ago. A couple days ago. I think it was during the day. But it, it was really funny. And <laughs> it's just really funny. I loved it. It's just, but one of the characters, is his name is Cletus, and I just thought, okay, I thought, you know, it's like Cletus, but that, that would have been cool if there's a character named Cletus. Sari wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the, the anime club. Hello? Sari? Sari must have come into the classroom while sta spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you can come to my club! Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh? Meanie! Sayori is vice president of the liter literature club. And not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. Uh, in fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Mitsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I de dejectedly follow Sari across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sari, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone! The new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Yeah, I glance, 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 glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Stacy, what a nice surprise. Wait, they think I'm a boy? <laughs> My character's a boy. I I don't know. This this is reminding me a lot of being a kid. <laughs> well, I'm a boy. <laughs> I'm not a boy. I'm a girl. But in here, I'm a boy. So yeah. Okay. Welcome to the club. <laughs> All words escape me in this situation. This club. Is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki! <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently N Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can't just ignore her when she gets moody. 
You can't? Can? I think can. Yeah. Uh, Sari that says it quietly into my ear. Then she turns towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki. Always full of energy. And this is Yuri. The smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sari and Natsuki. Oh well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, right? Is that right? Or Monica? Monica? I don't know. I don't know. It looks like it says Monica, but I think it'd be Monica? I had no idea. That's right! It's great to see you again, Stacy. Monica smiles sweetly. We know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monika was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monika. Or Mon Monika. I don't know. Why do I keep... I just keep switching between two different pronunciations. I don't even know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Come sit down, Stacy. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ooh! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. I thought that said rats <laughs> at first. <laughs> the whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Eh, <laughs> well you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Mo Monika. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and already managed to get icing on her face. <laughs> okay, me. Me. <laughs> I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good! Okay, so I'm gonna end this episode here. For now, I have to go, but until then, smooth sailing to you and your pirate crew.